am here to talk about my May favorites, everything that I love for the whole month of May. Again, I try to pick, pick products that I have used the majority of the month so that I have a really good vibe for them and so that you all know whether or not it's something that you want to purchase. So I know I haven't been on uh, my channel in a little while um, and you will find out why in my next video. <laughs> I just finished filming this look, so um, this look will be up in a couple of days. I thought that first I would um, publish my May favorites because it is already the second or third day of June, I'm not sure. <laughs> the days like jumble all together when you have two kids, you just like try to survive, so <laughs> if it's the second or the third day, it doesn't matter. Like I'm giving myself a pat on the back because it's June and I've made it. So anyways, um, I have some products to show you and uh, I think that you're all going to really like them, so let's get started. <laughs> okay, the first product that I'm going to talk about is a foundation. This is a foundation that I got um, a little over a month ago and I've been using it quite a bit because I really like it, especially um, during this summer, springy time. It's really hot here in Texas. so. Um, I tend to kind of change up my makeup when it come, when um, summer rolls around. So this is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. Whew, that is a mouthful. Um, I have shade Beige Ivory. Um, it's very, you can like hear, you, it says to shake well and you can understand why because you can like hear it in the tube. Usually you feel like it sticks together, but it's very um, hydrating and kind of liquidy. <laughs> if you will, um, but it blends so well into your skin and so gently, and it has a really nice um, satin sheen, so it's not super matte, but it's really not glowy because I don't tend to like that, especially in the summer because I do get really oily, um, but it, it does have a very like photo finish satin feel. It does not have any SPF in it, so if you're looking for foundation in the summer um, to protect you from the sun, then you will need to add like a BB cream or um, just a sunscreen or moisturizer with SPF in it under it, um, but that will change the look of it because as you know, SPF is what shines back to you into the camera um, during photos. So this is a photo edition foundation, so it's supposed to look really great in photos. So if you're a bride um, or anybody looking for something for photos like engagement pictures or um, senior pictures are coming up again, I can't believe we already graduated a class, so we're talking about the next class of 2016, but this is a great foundation for you. Um, I really, really like it. You can order it from Sephora or buy it in Sephora, but Laura Mercier, she knows what she's doing. Um, next, I'm going to talk about a primer. This is by Makeup Forever, another one of their Step 1 Skin Equalizers. You've heard me talk about the Smoothing Primer, but this one is the Radiant Primer, and it's the pink one. Um, they have a Radiant Primer that's a yellow one as well, but um, I tend to lean towards the pink tones for um, Radiance anyway. Uh, so anyways, I really like this primer, especially in the summer. It, ten it gives me like a really pretty glow. I use it underneath my foundation, of course, um, and it primes really well, keeps things from moving around on my face throughout the day. So Makeup Forever, if you would just buy all of these primers, like you're set for life. <laughs> they just really did a good job with this line. So um, I really, really like this one. The next thing I'm going to talk about, you may have seen me use um, a couple videos ago. This is the Marc Jacobs. Mirage Filter um, Contour Palette. This is uh, Mirage Filter 40, and I love this palette. Um, it has the dark contour shade and the light um, powder, and it is just like unbelievable. The way that these colors mold and blend into your skin are just beautiful. I mean, you do not get a muddy feel with these uh, powders at all. And what I love about it is that there's so much product, and I know that this is like a really big case, but it's really slim, so it's still nice for traveling. But the best thing about it is that there's only the two shades. So if you're not a makeup artist, or um, you know, you're getting into contouring and you're tired of having several different products, but you don't want to get a contour palette because you know you're not going to use all of them, this is a great palette to get because you're going to use these two shades. The dark shade would be, you know, your contour shade, whereas the light shade would be your setting shade. Um, and it's just, I mean, I can't say enough good things about this palette. I literally got it at the end of April, and I have used it every single day that I have worn my makeup in May because I love it so much. I mean, it has taken over my Anastasia one, and I can't believe I'm saying that because I love the Anastasia one so much, but this one is so much better, and yes, it's a little bit more pricey, 
So don't purchase it until you've done contour for a little while, but when you're looking for a palette, get this one. It's incredible. Talking more about um, cheek products. I have a lot of cheek products, I just realized, but I guess I'm just into it this uh, this month. But this is actually an older, um, an older product that, that I just brought out um, again and started using again. This is by Hourglass. It's their ambient um, lighting palette. It has three different shades in it. And um, this one is dim light. This is incandescent light and this is radiant light. And none of them, I think they made one of these into um, the large pan. It may have been dim light, but I'm not totally positive. But regardless, it's kind of hard to get your hands on any of these unless you get them in the palette. And you're never going to like hit pan on these. So uh, even though they're not as big as the regular um, ambient lighting powders, let me show you a regular size. So this over here is the regular size. This one is the ambient lighting powder and diffused light. And this is the palette size. And yes, it is much smaller, no doubt. So your brush size has to be a little bit smaller, but um, you're never going to hit pan on this one. You're never even really going to hit pan on this one. So, um, you know, I still feel like it's a really good buy. You get three different shades for, I think, around $40 or something. Um, that may be a little bit much. I'm not really positive, but I will put everything in the description bar below so that you can go check it out. But I have been obsessed with these shades. All of the ambient lighting powders are beautiful, but this one, the, this middle one, I have used on my cheekbones a lot, and I think it's just gorgeous. And what I love about it so much right now is that it's great for summer. It's not like really um, highly, highly pigmented so that you look like you're shining, you know, which sometimes can be a bad thing in the summer because of the sun and if you happen to be sweating or something. But it just adds that perfect little sheen on top, which is great for those hot summer days if you live in a hot, hot climate like I do. Um, so anyways, I love this palette and I'm glad that I brought it back out again and brought it back into my life because I think it's been really, really good and I'm glad I found it again. Okay, the last cheek product that I'm going to talk about is this uh, Milani Powder Blush that I purchased a while back and I put it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me. I'll put it down below what my Instagram is, but it's just at McKinsey Hall at Makeup. And um, I, I photographed these a while back, the ones that I purchased, and this is a Milani a powder blush, which means it is drugstore, so it can be purchased at um, Walmart or some CVS and uh, Walgreens, but this is the uh, Tea Rose, and it's such a pretty, pretty color. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today and in this tutorial, so you'll see um, how to apply this in a couple days when I get that video up, but it's just a beautiful, silky, silky color. Um, it's just kind of like a, it's like the perfect summer color, if you will. And it blends so nicely, and um, a lot a lot of times I have a hard time finding a good drugstore blush because they tend to be too glittery or shimmery, but this one has that silky feel that you want in a blush, but without any chunks of glitter or shimmer. So I'm really loving this Tea Rose um, blush by Milani. I think that uh, you'll like it a lot too, and you'll love the price. <laughs> okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is a lip product, and this is by Bare Minerals. And it is the Marvelous Moxie line. Moxie, 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 surely Moxie. Um, and it's such a beautiful shade. This is Miss Popular, um, which is just really funny <laughs> that they named it that. But um, anyways, it's just a, a gorgeous light pinky purple shade, which I think is the perfect shade for summer. Um, I tend to be wearing it a lot on my lips because it's just so bright and vibrant, which is so much fun for all the summer shades that you get to wear in your clothing and on your nails and things like that. Um, so I have really been loving this color. It's also very sheeny, so it doesn't feel sticky or goopy or gross or anything like that. Um, so you can get it at Ulta or Sephora. Um, Bare Minerals is a very affordable um, cosmetic line. And I'll just show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. Like I said, it's just like a gorgeous pinky purple shade. And it may come off to you like as if it's too pink, but really it's just like the perfect color of your lips. Um, and so it just kind of like brightens them up. It makes them so summery looking. And the packaging is beautiful. It's easy to throw into your purse. So um, let's give a hand to Bare Minerals for doing their job on Miss Popular. It is very, very good. Okay, the last thing I'm going to talk about is um, kind of my, you know, I always do like a tool or a fragrance or something like that. 
And um, this is actually a hair product, which what? Like what, Mackenzie, what are you doing? Why are you doing a hair product? Well, um, I have recently been doing my hair a lot because I cut seven inches off, which is um, a little scary, but I have really enjoyed this product. This is by Bedhead, and it's the Head Rush um, Shine Adrenaline with Super Fine Mist Spray. And it says on the back that it's a super fine, super shine spray that will go straight to your head. This lightweight spray gives your hair extreme gloss with all over coverage. To use, just spray on your dry hair and let it shine. So basically all you do after applying um, your hairspray and like styling your hair and like I'm in a fog of mist, like go away mist. <laughs> it's really fine, it's not wet and it smells so good. Um, it just makes your hair really shiny, which is really cool in the summertime because the sun shines on it and it's just like ee, angelic and um, something like that. So anyways, I am loving this Bedhead Head Rush Shine Adrenaline Spray. Get you some, it's really good. So that concludes my May favorites. Um, I hope you all have a great start to the summer. Can't wait to see what you all are up to um, and see all the cool fun things that I have coming up. Uh, I can't wait to show you my next look because I really think you're going to like it. So with that said, I hope you have a great June and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye. This head bet, I mean, oops.